cap cut or After Effects? That is the question. Nope, it's not. See, when you cook, it doesn't matter if you have a fancy oven or special dishes. What matters is knowing how to use your ingredients. Well, that goes for editing too, but of course. When it comes to editing, you can do more and improve your videos by using paid apps like Premiere Pro or After Effects, and your wallet will be empty. You probably don't wanna waste your money. So, I searched for some cool After Effects tricks and found a video that can be recreated in CapCut. You might have heard of Magnates Media and their very cool videos. This, uh, let's say, style of editing is suitable for every niche you can imagine, such as documentaries, facts, tutorials, and so much more. For this, we need CapCut, Photo P program, and a lot of visual effects and assets, which can be found on websites like VecTZ or Footage Crate for free. I've put the links to all the footage I used in this video in the description, so you can easily recreate it while watching. Did I just say easily? I took a screenshot of one of the scenes from a Magnates Media video and used it as a reference to see what I needed. A reddish sky, some factory buildings, a ground, trees, and finally, a sculpture. First, I generated an Einstein sculpture in Adobe Firefly. And if you don't know how, I explained it in my other video. Then I downloaded everything else I needed from Vecteezy. I added the sky, ground, and a fog footage to the timeline. I selected the ground layer and applied adjustments until it matched the sky. I chose a yellow temperature and a bit of purple tint, then decreased everything in the lightness section. Above that, I added the fog footage and changed the blend mode to soft light. Now that I have my sky and ground, I take a screenshot and import it into Photopea. Now, we're going to combine our downloaded buildings into one big piece and adjust their colors one by one. I'm starting with this silo isolated PNG, and from the adjustment layer, I'm choosing levels. If I apply changes, they would be applied to the whole project, but what I'm going to do is click this narrow arrow down here and clip the mask to it. In the RGB channel, I increase the blacks and decrease the whites to limit the whites in the object. Then, I add curves layer to the project and clip it as well. I adjust the RGB line by dragging it down from the middle to increase the contrast. Finally, I add a color balance layer, mask it, and decrease the red and yellow in the shadows, highlights, and midtones to match it with the background. We're going to do the same for all the other objects. Just select those adjustment layers, copy them, and then paste them above another object. They will automatically clip to the new object. You can open the adjustment layers one by one and make changes to each object as needed. Now, select your object and create a mask by clicking on this icon. Select the brush tool and go to the settings. Select a soft, rounded brush, decrease the flow and opacity, and increase the smoothness a little and make sure the brush color is set to black. Click on the mask, zoom into your object, and gently apply the brush until the edges fade into the background. If you mess up, flip the brush color to white and recover the details you need. Follow the same steps for all the objects and place them wherever you want on the screen. Let's go ahead and finish editing. Okay, we're done. Well, not quite. Let's put every object and its adjustment layers into a folder and give it a name. In case you don't know how to do this, select the object layer, hold shift, and select the last adjustment layer. Finally, click on the folder icon at the bottom. I added all the folders to a main folder and clipped a levels layer to it for the final touch. Then I hid the background and exported the building layer in PNG format. Now let's go back to CapCut. Add the building footage to the background under the fog footage. Also add Albert under the ground footage. Click on Albert, go to adjustment and set the temperature to yellow. Also decrease the exposure and whites. Next go to curves, select the RGB line and drag it down a bit. Now in After Effects, we have something called a camera, which gives the video depth and movement. We want to mimic that effect in CapCut, so we need to animate every object here. What we're going to do is select the Einstein layer, go to the last frame, and create a keyframe on scale and position. Go to the first frame, scale it down a bit, move it down, and create another keyframe. For the building layer, I go to the last frame and create a keyframe. Then I go to the first frame, scale it up a little bit, and create another keyframe. Next, I'm going to add trees to the timeline and position them wherever I want. By going to the adjustments section and decreasing exposure, shadows, whites, and blacks to the minimum, I create a silhouette effect. Then I'll go to the effects section, search for motion blur, drag it onto the layer, set the horizontal to 52, and leave the strength at 85. I'll do the same for the other tree too. 
Now for animating, I'll adjust the rotation. In the first frame, I set the rotation to 2. Then in the middle, I set it to minus 2 and create a keyframe. Finally, I go to the last frame and set the rotation to 0. And I'll repeat the process for the other object. Now I'll select all layers and create a compound clip. I'm also going to add text to the video. From the font section, I select the Resolve font, change the color to orange, and add glow and shadow to it. Let's just play with the color until we find the one we want. After that, I go to the Animation section and choose Squeeze from the In. Next, select the clip and go to the first frame. Scale up and zoom into Albert's face, then create a keyframe. Move forward and reset the scale and position, then create the second keyframe. Right-click on the clip and select Show Keyframe Animation. Right-click on the Scale Keyframe, select Graphs, and choose Ease Out 2. Do the same for the Y position. Now, from the menu above, choose Adjustment and create an adjustment layer. Where the thunder appears, create a keyframe on exposure and increase it to the maximum. A couple of frames before and after, create two keyframes and set the exposure to zero. This effect makes the video momentarily brighter when the thunder strikes. I then copy all three keyframes and paste them randomly at a few points in the layer. And we're done. I made another version and added some extra flair to it. I've included everything for download like the Photopea project and a lot of VFX so you can use your imagination and create cool things with CapCut. So, what should we cook up next?